Hi everybody, welcome back to another quick tutorial. This time we'll look into creating a uh, Mac script that will help us randomly position objects that we have selected in the scene. So I'll give you a quick overview on just how basic Mac scripting works and how a, how a loop also works inside uh, Mac scripting. And we'll go ahead and get started. And first I'll just create a cube. Just zero it out. So I can show you that the, uh, the random numbers are working. And I'll go ahead and open up the listener here, as well as the editor. And the editor is where you can write your scripts. It gives you uh, handy color coding, as well as um, line numbers, so you can debug easier. And the listener shows you under the hood for what Max is doing. So you can see here, clear selection, and then I select the box, and it says select, bo select box 01. And that's uh, the Max script running in the background. So it's actually kind of handy to see. Um, so for the script, it's good to think out what steps need to happen before you actually start writing the script. And I want to have any number of objects selected, and then I want to have a function that runs through all the objects selected, and only the ones selected, and have a random number assigned to them for their position x, y, and z. And we'll go ahead and use a loop for that. So I'll type in 4, and then I'll type in uh, selected objects. That could be anything you want. It could literally be a bunch of gibberish, and it would still work. But I'm creating that just so uh, it's easier to understand. In selection, so now that the selection, see how it changed to the color? Because uh, Max script has that defined as uh, the selected objects. Now we're saying do. So for the selected objects, do something. And inside this bracket and this bracket is where the loop will run. And in there we'll say cell obj, which this variable here has to match this one up here. And then we'll say dot position dot x equals open close bracket again. Random. So now this is a random number generator, and you need to give it um, the, the range that it can randomly generate the numbers from. So I'll say between 0 and 300. Pick a number anywhere between 0 and 300 and have position.x of this selected object be equal to that. So if I run that, this box should then move. Great. So it moved 145 in x. Okay. Figure that out. Go ahead and undo it. So now it's back to just a 0, 0. And we can also test to see, is this working with multiple objects? So I have box 2 and box 1. Just select them both. And with here, tools, if I, could, I forgot to mention this before, if you, when you click tools, evaluate all, or control E, it'll run the script that you have been creating in here. And they both, they both moved, which is great. And I can just keep running this tool over and over again, and you'll keep getting random results each time that uh, tool is, is used. So I'll ahead, just delete that real fast. Let's get it back to zero, zero. And now we'll go ahead and add to the script. So we have position x working correctly. Now we need a position y and z. And so we can just paste, copy and paste this position x random and just paste it two more times and change the x to a y and then the other x to a z. And so now at this time, it should randomly create numbers for the x value, the y value, and the z value. So you can see here, it created a value of 5 for x, a value of 282 for y, and a value of 91 for z. So it stayed between that 0 and 300 range, and it randomly created three variables for those position data. Okay, so now let's go ahead, just create an army of cubes here. So I'm just going to go ahead and just shift left clicking, just copying, copying, copying. And I'm going to go ahead and just leave this one guy out here to show that it won't randomly move objects that are not selected. So I'm selecting this group here, and then this guy over here is uh, not selected, so it should stay in place. So now over my, uh, my uh, script here, I'll go Tools, Evaluate All, and you can see that they all scattered around in, vari in various uh, locations, and only the selected objects moved. So this object here, it wasn't selected, and it stayed perfectly still. Everyone else scattered. So I hope this tool is handy for you. Hope it 
I'll give you a quick introduction to Mac scripting, so go ahead and leave comments, and uh, please like and favorite this video as well. See you next time.